How's it going today? What's up? <laughs> Trying to send you some good vibrations through the screen, through the camera, if I can. If you can receive them, receive them well. Hope you're doing well. There's still the mosquitoes every single inch, square inch of space around me is filled with mosquitoes. I'm just trying to come at you with some information, some, uh, a thought, a penny for your thoughts, an idea to ruminate on. That is to, don't forget to, don't forget to appreciate the little things in life. Like, for me, the mosquitoes being little buttholes flying around, you can't forget to appreciate the little things like be being present in your life in your day-to-day -day life for the little things that pass you by it's so easy for looking at how green this grass is if you were just if you just woke up got ready for work went to work you didn't even notice the grass you didn't even appreciate the color of the shade of the, the grass. You didn't appreciate the tree. Like there is so much beauty around you. There is beauty in everything. It just takes the right mindset, the right attention, the right awareness to realize and appreciate the beauty. See like my dog is literally living in the moment 24 seven. I don't know what he's looking at or what he's looking for. He's just like looking for bunnies or something. He's looking for little like little woodland creatures out there. Like I just saw a dragonfly. Little the small things. We that's also a a key to for a personal key that works for me is to pay attention to the little details in what's around you in your present moment right now. Like let's say you're on a walk, you're on a, you're on a hike in the woods on a trail somewhere. Keep your attention on the fine details of you know each branch, each little break off, each you know each leaf, the shape of the leaf, the color of the leaf, the texture of the leaf, like leaves on the ground, whatever, like leaves everywhere, as you can see. Pay attention to the sound of your foot on the ground sound of your foot on the ground sound on the ground sound of the ground on your foot and when you're paying when you pay more attention to the finer details of your surroundings the thoughts in your head that cloud out and crowd out that observational skills seem to kind of diminish and they kind of go away because you're focused on doing something else instead of trying to push your thoughts out in order to appreciate the little things in life instead of trying to push your thoughts away because anything you push away will come at you with equal or greater force and trying to so don't I'm getting ahead of myself so don't try to push your thoughts away. Instead, try to do something else that will be more productive, that will be immensely more productive. You will, if you go on a hike, and this is just an example, if you go on a hike and you were, the entire time, you were thinking about what you were gonna have for dinner, you know, what you're gonna watch on TV, what, what your friends were doing, you didn't remember any of the hike at all like you didn't remember any of any trip you take if you're just in your head thinking you're not going to remember what actually went on what actually happened on that adventure that you had you didn't really experience it because you were stuck in your head so when you pay attention to the detail like the physical details of objects and things around you it is a lot easier to keep your attention and awareness outside of your head so you can appreciate the surroundings like what you're actually in the more that you that's like that's literally me like meditating except you're not mm, focusing on your breath 
a lot of people think, you know, oh, I'm not a monk, I don't meditate. You don't have to be a monk to meditate. You can care about yourself and meditate. Like, that's... You really want to practice... When people sit on a pillow and meditate, it's basically like working out their mind. And then when you're in your everyday life and you're focusing, your attention is in the present moment, not in your head, not in your thoughts then you are aware of life. You are in the moment right now. It is this, it's hard to, I can say it, but it's hard to explain unless you have really been present in the moment. Like it's literally like as if you were a kid again. If you can train your mind through meditation and mindfulness every single day, you can get your the mentality that you had when you were a kid back. You can have that wonder and awe about everything, but it's a, it's a, it's just all the programming we've received, and like school has taught us to memorize this, this, that, and this, and we're focused on this, that, and things. We're just focused on the wrong things, basically. That's what school was teaching us: the wrong things. We don't need to know, know how to do trigonometry unless we're going to be a math major. But like, oh, you need to learn how to do, uh, you know, super science. Like, I agree, math reading I'm all over the place in this video but math reading writing some science some history like you gotta learn that stuff we learned too much and it just crowded out what we really needed to learn and it's really to be it's really to just be present in the moment every day as much as we can because that's the essence of being a kid is just being aware my dog has not stopped looking for things since I pointed out last he's still chilling totally content whatever he's looking for he's 100% in the moment so I don't want to say too much more I'm still feeling kind of out of it but that's okay I hope you gain something from this video if you're watching this right now and you gain something from this I love you and I hope you have a blessed life and with all of that being said, I hope you have a blessed day, a blessed life. Mess that up. I'm so tired. A blessed day, a blessed night, and a blessed life. Peace out.